morph. Don't feel like he got shut down super hard. Sometimes we see like some of these first pick carries have like a bajillion different counter matchups. Pure doesn't seem to have like, he doesn't look like he has the absolute worst by any means. So we'll see what he's going to be able to do. They also have White Mod playing probably his best hero. This and his ET are phenomenal. And yeah, Topson's proved to look really good on the Zeus. And we just saw Toby honestly have probably his best game. It was and great, great the Kunkka game so play. So let's see if Falcons can endure the pressure this time around Amar having to get on a more normal hero. And um, um, Amar's ready to carry them. Yeah, you know, he, He's trying the Brulos game. It just wasn't one of his most played heroes. The Razor, of course, that's a classic. And that yep. is one that, you know, things aren't going too great elsewhere on the map. He can become the position one and he can carry them to victory on this hero. So we'll see what he's able to bring this game. I mean, versus Morphling, kind of difficult as a Razor because he just turns into you and then links you right back and you're pretty sad about that, so it could be a bit difficult for him to, but as long as he keeps, like, you know, I want to see them have good, even farm. I mean, that tends to be the Amara thing where he's also scaling as well as his Sven the whole time, so they have that double scaling. And yeah, let's see how Maureen does. Another Timber. A lot of magic damage for this Timber. Literally their entire draft, right? Everyone has some, tom some form of burst. I think the Rubik... He always looks, I think uh, Purge was the one actually talking about on the panel. Rubik versus Timber will give you kill threat through most stages. Able to steal Shockrim and stuff like that is massive. And even a morph turning into him and using it right back to him. So. Yeah, let's see how the, the lanes in particular go. Especially bottom, I'm going to be watching how Pure can withstand the pressure of these two ranged when he has the clockwork behind him. Let's see if there's going to be any way for Whitemon to get in there and start things off. Top plane. I mean, how how easy or difficult is this going to be for Skeeter? You know, these two, do they put on a lot of pressure to the Sven in the lane? Honestly, more than I think that you, I would imagine, just because of the constant spam and harass from Tidebringer into the Fade Bolt. I think this, there's there's kill threat all over the place. Can't really be looked... I mean, mid probably not, but there's kill threat constantly from these two side lanes on both sides. As the levels build up for Pure, it gets better, but the first few levels become quite difficult for him. Uh, CS in incredibly even in the mid, I think you're right. As you say, there's not going to be any action mid unless somebody makes a big mistake. Yep. Um, and, or like a rotation or something like that really early on. But we'll top line. Top. Nine class steps up too far. They get the level two, they get the glimpse back. But he's alive. He's no further follow up available. He'll live. That bottom lane, also, you know, Pure did have his career sniped earlier, but he's getting the, the more tangos coming out now. Yeah, it always starts slow. Just that link, of course, the first few levels. He doesn't even have to throw it onto the Morphling at the start. I saw he did it onto the Clockwork early on, so as long as he just has that... If he gets a good link, then he's going to get those extra denies, of course, versus the Morphling. Pure taking a good chunk of damage there from, here, from Crit. I think that's the second time he's gotten the double bounces. Nice play from Pure. Keeps the sentry alive, uses the stun from the adaptive. Well played, actually. Tip about the way of crit. It's all important just to have the, the pulls open and stuff like that, preventing the pulls, etc. when you are playing a bit more of those greedy carries. Not what you expected, not what you and White Mon, difficult for him to really get in on these two. Does feel that, feel like Amar and Crit can kill this clock if he gets too aggressive. I mean, look at Pure just sitting so low as well, keeping himself nice and ready to shift up. It's going to be very, very difficult to catch him even when he's sitting low. Pure yeah. is always going to be ready to He'll respond. Ready. Only so much they can do to really threaten this morph. Outside of that, Pure is going to be fine hitting the creeps. He's having a slower start, but... A little slower, but not, not the worst by any okay. means. And honestly, at level three, that's when they have kill threat. When White Mon has level two battery assault, that's when you can start looking to go for that pressure onto the Razor, especially if he makes a, one mistake with the static link, then you can actually take advantage of it, but not the easiest thing to do by any means. Mid, Maureen getting a little bit more than Thompson. Thompson has a full wave under himself, though, so he should be able to get that farm. And top so far, Toby's actually getting slowed down a little bit. Well, maybe seeing if they can go Oh, they the bring Maureen. Here. Indeed, Look with this. this rotation from Maureen, they might have a solid chance to go in for the Kunkka. Toby's got the stick charges, but Snaking, he's actually the one to be falling low first. Playing with fire. Snaking, can Nine Class find the damage he can? He does. The Fade Bolt's there. First blood will be for Tundra, and they what didn't have the damage this? to take down Toby. He's he able to walk away. He was eight mana short for the, for the Whirling Death. Oh, boy. 
And now bottom also, they get a full link onto Pure as well, so. Mar. They'll be happy bottom, but up top. Yeah. Big I mean, kill. Getting the kill and not losing anything. You know, Tops had also yeah. thrown out the tip to Maureen, knowing that time was certainly wasted at the end of it all, with Maureen having to make that trek up top. And bottom. Now, White Mon still not quite able to be in a position to really set up anything aggressive. Trying to clear that camp since he didn't have the, you know, the block anymore from the sentry. Double damage from battery assault on it, but yeah, it's not going to be able to take it away from them. At least he prevents the pull from the side, so the, the wave actually meets for pure under the tower rather than being all the way far up. So he should still be able to keep getting this good farm. I guess 9 class saw him ward. That's why the tip came out. So he's going to be able to get that instant D ward first. He's thinking. Oh, look at this rotation. Thompson's actually also making the move down. I mean, White Mon's trying to bait the action. Mar. They're going to lead in on this jump forward from Thompson. And Amar's getting burst down low. He's going to go down. Thompson with the rotation, offering up enough damage to kill Amar off. Nice bait from White Mon there. Now these early little moves just coming out a bit smoother from Tundra. I have those, this type of kill is super important, right? Because the Razor is there usually to just super shut down your carry. Pure is not shut down. He really isn't. He's getting that free farm down bottom now. And now Zeus ult, it's going to be available. So these, these side lanes have to be a bit more careful on the side of Falcon skin. White Mon will take the quick trip back yep. to base. Suicide reset so he can come back to Pure. Pure will be able to get himself a Lotus as well from the side there. So he's, uh, he, this is fine. This is super good for Pure. He's chilling on this morph. Yeah, now that he's got this sort of XP advantage, this lead, yeah, he, he's under no sort of threat from these two. At least it's going to take more from Falcons if they want to try and slow down Pure's laning now. Oh, crit. Spotted. Topson making another rotation down. Uh, see if we can run away from this crit. I mean, Pure, he's got the burst. Not quite enough. Crit's going to be fine. One more spell into Thunder Gods. Probably would have had him if they could break that raindrop, but he'll be able to get himself away. At the same time, we'll see some focus from Falcons up top once more. Malreen's hit. This rune. He looks like he's actually preferring the stacks. I mean, these are pretty juicy. That's a triple stack on the hard camp and a triple stack on the ancients. He'll be able to take that away. That's real nice. Pure. Good amount of damage. Time, time. I mean, they're seeing if they can maybe get kills out of this as well. Wisdom Rune will be grabbed by Toby just in time. Nine class. And this is under a tier two tower. They're going pretty deep for this. I mean, could they really get Toby as well? They got him with the Chakram. The Thunderstrike's going to bring him low. Won't be enough to kill him, but some very aggressive moves here from Falcons. Got him for kills aggressive. under a tier two here. Seven minutes in. They'll get away with it. I mean, Thompson might be able to snipe snaking. We'll see. Let me close. I mean, Spear and are still here. You have to be careful. Chains across. He's under the tower. If he can get anything. Look at the glimpse back nice onto glimpse. nine class. But it's Thompson on his own, but the Thunder God's Rack comes out. He's killed off one of them. Mallory live, living on a slither of HP here. Did the raindrop? I think the raindrop may have saved him. Honestly, it looked like it was going to be both of them. It's very close. I think the bottle was passed to nine class as he got a glimpse, though. So he'll have to run back to give that one to Thompson. But Thompson, I mean, these rotations are working really nicely. Matching the moves of Maureen constantly here. I see where he wants to head next, Topson. He's already starting to draw his attention towards the bottom lane. Maybe see if they can go for Amar once more. Hey, look how active he's being. He is under vision this time. He'll be able to back away. Falcons. Got the smoke set up top. They're looking for Toby. They want to try to slow him down. He did have such a good game last time. He is a bit slowed down this time around. 600 behind his counterpart. He should have a pretty good effort at this. There's a question if whoever any TPs are going to come in to try and help turn this around. He's looking it looks good. like... Ooh. Yeah, they're, they're not going to bother putting any resources into trying to help Toby out here. He's gone. This tower is dead too. Should be dead as well. They're making moves. All right. Night class and Pure even making his way up to try to defend this one. They might rotate more. It feels like they are. Okay, yep. now they are. Now they want to try and see if they can get something going here. Topson and Nine Glass in with the burst available to take out Snaking. I mean, Topson will get glimpsed back to mid, but he doesn't care about he that one bit. That. He turned up, got the kill, and he's able to get straight back to farming that mid lane. I was going to say, that's actually super ideal yeah. for him. <laughs> they brought four heroes, maybe, maybe an over rotation, and ends up being good with the glimpse. Crit in the meantime, stacks are being formed. Have to be able to enable your Sven so that he keeps ahead or tries to get ahead of the Morphling. 
However, they did block the hard camp. We do see that Tundra, they are very aware that this is going to start happening for the Sven so that he can keep ahead or get ahead of that Morphling. And right now, he's not even ahead. So it's a pretty big deal for Pure. A good matchup overall in the game, and the lane didn't really shut him down by any means. And Tundra, with that move towards the top, they keep their tier one tower fine, and they're actually able to get the pressure yeah. going onto Falcon's tier one tower in this top lane. And it puts Toby in a position where he can go bottom, actually, and safely finish up that level six. So a really cool rotation. That Tundra's actually Falcons done. will answer this. So Toby dropping the boat on bottom, Amar. Do they have a Thunder God's Wrath? They, they do. do. It's a lot of damage. Is it quite tanky. enough? He's building up the static things here as well from Whitemon. Amar will live. Now with the back of a Marion and Crit, he can look to run down Toby as well. Ooh. As a, a, an attempt gone wrong there from Tundra, they end up feeding away both their lives. I don't, the know Falcons. If, I don't know if they checked. He had what? I think it was like a 15 wand and he had the Healing Lotus. So pumps him right up with the Strength Treads. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. That's nice for Falcons. Uh, absolutely, and very nice for Amar. Exact kind of moves that he loves to, to sort of just punish and get his way on towards building the, the items to carry the game from the off lane. Pure was able to finish off that entire top tower, so a pretty big deal for him. Skinner will start working on at least that ancient stack, but as you said, you know, that hard camp not stacked. Does at least have a secondary ancient stack to farm, but... Yeah, Pure just yeah, keeping it up with him. Bottom tower is under attack. Feels like it's going to be hard for the Sven to actually pull ahead and farm versus this Morphling, unless the Morph somehow gets picked off. Radiant which is pretty standing. much only if the Static Storm catches him in most scenarios. Bottom tower is under attack. Mid lane Radiant's also getting some pressure here. Catapult's still alive. Tops in. He wants to keep it going. He has a shield rune. Pierce turned up again. Malreen, not in the area to actually set up for the yeah, it defense. It could be hard to, to stop this tier one tower going down. Yeah, Malreen has to run over to try to catch something, but he's a little bit late. Oh, so they've got to let it fall. Topson is deep now, though. He's trying to start something. In fact, and, oh, oh my oh. goodness, Chris just able to snipe Pure. He got him. All right, I mean, they got the tower, but they lost the carry there. And a glimpse, but the X, it's countered. I mean, he wasn't ready for that. He sure wasn't. He was not ready for that from the tree line, crit him with the snipe, and that's the carry gone. And he's done the build again that we've seen from Crit. Especially when you're playing versus Morph, it makes sense. Rather than maxing Acorn Shot, max the burst. The, mag right? the magical burst damage, and he gets it on him perfectly. Max Bushwhack will be able to connect. Big kill to slow down that Morph's farm. Oh my god, these stacks just continuing. Snaking tries to glimpse away Topson. There's no hook shot, but Topson, he really wants him. But he won't get it. Yeah, he's not going to spend any more time chasing. Overall, though, Falcons with the slight gold lead here. 2k advantage. The biggest difference being that this game between the offlaners, and we're going to see them go head to head here right now. Amar yeah, and this Toby. Time Toby's struggling. He's got the X mark to separate Amar from himself. Crit's ready to back Amar up here. If he can get the catch, should have a solid chance with the kill. The pushback is not quite there, though. So Toby will escape. So the gold try. difference between the offlaners is starting to, to grow. Amar with quite the lead. Ancient time. So Toby, it looks like they're going to give him that stack so that he can actually catch back up. So that should almost put him at the same one. He has to be a little careful. Someone else See if they can get one more here. No, okay, they won't be able to pull it back for another stack. No. He's still not going to be fully caught up, no. but it's going to be pretty close to the same of that Razor now. So yeah, Definitely going to be tough for him to to sort of get in the, the mode of, of hitting his stride and, and getting that same sort of level of performance that he was able to bring out last game on his Kunkka. Feels like a harder game, much harder game this time around for the Kunkka, playing versus just the Timberstall who can shred him, the Razor who just gets on top of him, is able to just completely shut him down, so... Slower start for Toby. But yeah, Pierre, Manta's about to be finished, so still very good timing. White Mon with a very slow level 6, but now the clock does have that one finished up also. Let's see where they look to strike. Falcon Static Storm is at the ready. Ideally trying to find this Morph once. Or even the Zeus, just yeah, one of these two cores. Yeah, Zeus is top tier pick off yeah. for Falcons right now. Looks like they're setting up to maybe get a bit of a push going. Their lineup definitely has a bit of struggle for pushing unless Radiant the Sven just turns up. She doesn't attack. want to do just yet too much. Let's see what they can catch. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
Thompson uh, show on the next wave. He's, he's yeah, careful. They're, they're starting to swing around towards sort of the bottom area, maybe seeing if they can favor towards catching out Pure, but Pure, it's not going to be easy to find. They've been off. They've been gone for a bit. Yeah, they're bringing him back up. They I know that these sort of moves are probably going to be heading the way of their cause. So Tundra makes sure that there's backup inbound. River Ward saw the couriers. I think it saw maybe even both of them. At least it saw Snakings. So they know that there was a potential gank setting up bottom. So they TP two heroes just in case to protect Pure. And Snake's going the very, very long route with Malrain to try to be sneaky to find this morph. But yeah, they're not going to find ready. anything. Yeah. Uh, Tundra completely out of that. Ah, really nice wards, honestly, from Tundra this series. Last game I saw the same thing. They seem to just have a little bit edge of advantage on Vision in a couple of these early game moments. Sneak them out of some of these ganks. Falcons. Still want to hunt. They moved the four of them up towards top. See if they want to look to take the tower, maybe take a fight. Marion with the invis. Tipping him steps up. Now he's going to reveal himself anyway. Doesn't want to waste any more time. Slower. One of the, one of the slower games we've had. 6 to 4 at 15 still. How many stacks have we had as well, too, if we can uh, get that brought up again for a moment if possible? Because I feel like it's just been a very stack-intensive game, kind of from both sides. For Toby and then also for the Sven. Skeeter definitely more likely to, to hit a time in this game on the Sven as yeah. compared to the Jug, where oh, he should be able to have quite the presence in the team fights with this. I mean, let's be honest, one's a real hero, one yeah. isn't. <laughs> Sven feels much better in most most situations, if not all. Heading in with the TPs now down bottom, but... Oh, crit! That's gonna be a very quick and painful death. Five heroes set up here from Tundra. They wanted to try to find another one. Immediately, Falcons looks like they'll be able to split up. Looks like probably a tower push, though. Pure, setting up for it. The Falcons, yeah, want to do it, do anything about this. Doesn't look like it. They need everyone. I don't think they want to look to both, both teams just fight without. Really avoiding one another. Yeah. Going for these early little objectives, but. Not pushing it beyond that right now. I mean, both want their timings. They do have some pretty peak ones. Like if Razor gets the BKB before, or as the Kunkka gets an Agonims, then it's going to be, you know, pretty okay for Falcons to be able to play versus it. But if Kunkka gets it before any of those BKBs come out, the team fight becomes difficult. Much more difficult for Falcons, of course. And Amar. Show himself up toward top. White Mon is setting up in the area, playing around pure. And I see Pure, he's holding a point. He's waiting for an opportunity, holding in case he has to go for the morph. Because if the Razor steps up, they see an opportunity, he morphs right into him. Same thing versus Timber. It's two really good morph targets to be able to post kill threat. These things just continue to stay quite calm. Yeah, now they look for the action. I mean, they've got the ATOS set up here from Crit. And a blink on Malreen. Yeah. So a way to pop targets. They've got the setup. They'll have the burst damage. They're bringing... They're even going towards Skitter. Okay. Well, this could be a nice one here. Topson. They'll spot him for a second. White Mon, He's going to be the easier one to jump. They'll look towards him. Actually, they'll throw up the stun towards him and then they'll turn the attention over towards Nine Class. They'll get the two. perfectly get the two supports. Good smoke move. And they'll even find a ward that was honestly just placed. Should be able to find this tower as well, too. God strength at the ready if you'd like to. And he will. A clean little move there from Falcons. But... Oops, nay. He's stepping up deep. Thompson. That is really deep. He's going to easily have the burst. The Static Storm's going to be dropped down, but not before Snake King gets quickly dealt with. He stepped up so far. I'm surprised he actually did that one. That's four deaths now for Snake. Quite a bit. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Jackpot. They're going to smoke off the back of that. Is that... They know there's no Static Storm. Yeah. No Aghanims so... yet for Toby, but they're feeling like they can get a pick off here. With this Phantomy Skeeter, they know exactly what he is. It would be a brilliant catch here for Tundra. Oh, they go this straight is over towards for them. him and Skeeter. Has he got anywhere to run? He's got the BKB. Oh, he just got it. it just came out, but the hook shot is there. Can he get as out? As well as the Colt. He's trying to break his way out of no. this, but he won't be able to escape. They get the kill. Oh, and he just, he even did the disassemble play, so he got it maybe a little bit earlier than I think Tundra maybe expected, but oof, they get the kill and they force the BKB and maybe even 
can almost finish off this tier two bottom. That's a big hit. That really is. It's the biggest finding in Skeeter like that. He's yeah. been having a great game. And that's going to little sort of death is going to allow Pure to get a bit ahead. Exactly. Radiant Green. are scanning. Trying to go for Pure Manta on cooldown. Pure has to be careful. A rocket to scout. You'll see at least. I mean, they saw both supports. I believe they're at least crit. So they know they're in the area. Pure is going to move away. Deep Vision also from Tundra. They got a... I mean, this has been there now for a few minutes, but they have a deep ward actually around the triangle that has not been taken out. And Skeeter, BKB still on cooldown for 30. He does the smart thing, though, and goes to the left side. Can they set up for pure ever? I mean, no. it's, it's just not going to happen right now. No. They need to... I mean, they're trying. Maybe... They'll he use the static, so Skeeter is heading over. But is he going to be here in time to really allow them to threaten They're still on him. That's a good... Yeah, indeed, Amar. He's gone. Okay, they've got him. Amar just frontlining and being the damage that they need to nice kill him push off. Whack. The pushback is going to catch on to the two of them. Amar, he's still alive, staying on top of Topson. Topson's gone. It's a double kill from Amar. Amar finally falls. Oh, massive. But Falcons, they're getting the cleanup on this one. Skeeter turns over towards Whitemon. He's dead as well. They've found the four of them. Oh, that was beautiful. I mean, Amar. I mean, Amar, he really was. It Tip felt like, you know, they needed maybe Skeeter to get that kill. No, nope. Amar says, I've got the damage. He's I've got the right damage. I'm ready to go for this one. Go Wait. straight in. Definitely, I would imagine Amar making the call on that, saying, I can do it. I oh, can yeah. kill him. I they, can go for this. They finally saw that opportunity, right? Yep. Like, Impure was actually playing pretty far up. The supports make the initial go, and bam. Falcons blowing the game open now. Yeah, huge stuff there. Huge. Uh, that's going to get Amar well on his way towards his next item, and... I love his build. 7k lead now for Falcons. I love Amar's build this game. Pretty standard, I would say, I guess, in this one, when you're playing versus the like Zeus, the Mage Slayer to tank up and BKB, but the pretty much perfect one for him to stick on yep. Pure and then just also reduce Topson's dam damage yeah, and stick just, on him. Just couldn't get away, Pure. Yep. Skater's probably like, nice, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'm struggling a little bit, but that was like the perfect timing for all that to happen. And they'll be able to look to finish off this Tormentor with the good old Razor Classic. Let your Eye of Storm stack up that Minus Armor. And clean that one up too. And they get a good one. After the Blink finished up on Snake, he gets a free shard. A Tundra, they're going to see if they can get someone around this area. This crit has been spotted. Hook shots in. Decent kill. And Toby's game so much quieter. Yeah, his Aghanims is done, but he, by, by the time this Aghanims has been finished, those BKBs are done on the two cores that matter the most. It's going to be slow for him, and unless they can somehow force the BKBs before a fight, but feels like so far for Falcons, they're very patient. Taking their time, waiting to strike perfectly in this fight. This whole game, it's just been slow, but slow has worked for them. Yeah, they're feeling very comfortable this time, Falcons. Pure still very farmed. He is, Same but, it's, with tops, it's, but... Just, it's a much harder game for him sure. to carry. It really is against the, yeah, sort of effectively the, the, at least the two, maybe you could even consider them the three carries with how much damage and how much of an issue Marion is going to be as well on the front lines. It's three cores that Falcons have in prime position. It's top hit. He's caught. He's going to get caught in the static storm. It's another easy kill here for Amar. Mar is doing it. He is. Even though, you know, he the Razor versus Morph matchup that sometimes the Morph thrives in, Amar is doing it. Yeah, definitely have, able to have a lot more impact Ooh, this look game. Look at Pure. They, they, Skater's got the high ground. They've got the Rod of Atos and the stun into the bushwhack. Hookshot's going to be coming in from White Monitor trying to hold them back away from Pure. Pure is also going to get caught by the Glimpse. Skitter's still in on top of him. Pure, can he run for the He's he gone. Can't. Crits have to get him with the Acorn shot. As Pure's gone, Skeeter, he can continue the cleanup here with his god strength, turns over towards Whitemon. It's going to be another kill for him. The push what a push again whack. Crit onto the two of them. Double kill for Skeeter. He's got back up too. And another stun. Ah, he's ready to continue diving under the tier two. Toby, he's going to be gone as well. Skeeter making sure that we, you know, we get some attention back on the the traditional carry here for Falcons. Man, he tried so hard to survive there to Snay. A beautiful glimpse. He what, gets Pavist, I think it is, or Solar Crest, pops the Warcry, but it doesn't matter. Not enough to save Pure. 
stuck right on him. These, honestly, these two supports are doing so much work on the side of Falcons. The catches over and over again, the glimpse, the double bushwhacks. Yeah, Crit is, uh, he's, he's doing a hell of a lot. Yep. Those last two moments, swinging things massively in their favor. I mean, it really does just, just feel like how on earth did Tundra deal with all these calls, all these carries that, that they've got going on Falcons? I mean, Crit obviously with his build-up as well, he's going to feel like an additional carry of how much control yeah. and how much damage he'll start to dish out. It's and a whole lot. Yeah, he's got the full Gleitner now on Crit. Same net worth pretty much as Toby. He said quiet game from Toby. He just mm -hmm. hasn't been able to find a single opportunity. Radiance Same thing for the two supports. Yeah, I mean, that that's the reality of it. It's getting to the point where Falcons, it feels like they've got four cores and Tundra at the moment, they've only really got two. Got, yep, pretty much. And now the smoke forced, looking for top since that Roche is going up there. The ward coverage, though, is uh, Falcons is super ready for this fight. Yes, there's smoke, but two wards to watch. Dyer are scanning. And Malreen in position. He's got his Aghanims finished up already. What sort of catch can they find? Like one heading in, they'll scout them out with the Thunder Gods, Raph. Look shot off the mark. Gonna get the connection, it's a bit messy here now for Tundra. Scott Strange's gonna be Skeeter. popped by Skeeter. Skeeter's ready to chase him with the Axe, jumps over towards Toby. Toby, he's gonna be out Deleted. of the fight. Crip finishes him off there with a beautiful shot. And Pure, he's Will gone be... in. He is deep. I mean, he gets the support kill, but I don't think he's getting out of this one. He's got a waveform, but he's caught in the trees. I mean, going for moves like that, you can definitely feel the Tundra. They probably feel a bit helpless right now in this position. It's yeah. a very, very tough game. And they had, I mean, it's the full ward coverage. As soon as you pop Zeusult, if you don't catch a hook shot and kill somebody instantly, you look to start running away. You get a, you get glimpsed on the morph. Snake catch him, he dies. And we, yeah, we see there. Crit surpassing Toby, and Toby's had no game this time. No. This has been, yeah, your Falcons. They had a shaky game one, but coming in on this game two. Looking a whole lot better, and I think uh, a lot of it really does feel down to the fact that you got both Skeeta and Amar on just much better heroes this time. Oh. Right? Hey, Amar is playing one of his absolute best. Yep, and it's showing. Yep. Really wanting to chase him. He's, he's got, got BKB. BKB. He can turn and fight. Another bushwhack. I mean, Crit, he's just catching two of them every single time with his bushwhacks. Thompson's dead. I mean, Toby's looking towards Amar, but I don't think there's a whole lot Toby can do Falcons here. Falcons is coming. They're connecting. You gotta get on full retreat. The vision's there, the drag back nine class with the glimpse. It's just kill after kill after kill here for Falcons. Another catch. Toby's caught. God strength's out, the damage will be there. This is out of control. It really is. I don't know how much more Tundra wanna sort of withstand through this. Pure just has to stay running the entire fight. He can't even hit targets. Maureen just bullying him right now. And he's got connection coming over, so Pure, he can't... He's, he looks like he's gonna die. Can he make himself away? Can he sneak? I mean, maybe with these jukes. He's headed off to the other side of the... Okay. White will take it. And indeed, White Mont. He'll be the one to fall. Another one for Skeeter. Good God. How many in, in a row is that? Feels like they've gotten... Besides, like, snaking dying, right? It feels like it's just been absolute dominance here from Falcons. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit of all chat coming on. Hello, <laughs> guys. This is White Mon. Wait, what? What? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Is he just? Is I think because like he like okay. offered him up himself as a death to like try to protect his guy. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Friendly banter. Whatever. I'm sure. <laughs> Smiles all around here. They're, they're Pure? not smiling at all. Uh, <laughs> Look at him. He wants the wisdom rune, but Amar, he knows. But this is always good when the all chat, all chat starts to come out from the winning team. That's when. That's when you can start to throw the game. So you got to be careful with your confidence when you're coming in with a bit of all chat. I feel like it's usually not Skidder as well, too. That was rare. I feel like he's usually the quiet guy on this team for the most part. In the all chat. Well, let's see where this leads. Can't get too ahead of yourself. Even in a game where you are this far ahead, nice. crazy things have Crazier things have happened. He's so farmed on this man now at this point. And like you said, it's not just him. He's got that four cores, maybe even five, even though Snay died a lot. Snay is getting closer and closer to turn Aghanims as well too, oh. soon to surpass Toby. Oh no. Yeah. It's gonna be literally five cores against yeah. two cores. It's gonna feel like of how far ahead of Falcon are with the itemization. It just, it, it feels like miles difference in comparison to the, the three, four, five this game. Just feels like Falcons have been able to do so much on those three in comparison. Quiet game from nine class, Toby, as well as Whitemon this time around. Radiant's 
Yeah, two to go. They're in the mid. They look at Skidder just Dyer's playing alone, hitting the tier two. Why uh -oh. not? Oh. He's away. The hook shot. Only for now. Uh, Chris going to continue to the chase. He's got a pushback at the ready. See if he can find him. It's good jukes, but not good enough. Chris, he knows he's in there. Gets the pushback in. Another one for Amar. Just desperate moves from Tundra, trying to find any little bit of farm they can. Pure, even cutting some ways. Pure does not have a TP up here. Oh. He is in uh, a... Oh, no. He is DP. Top. I see his Dyer's courier. Uh-oh. Wait, does that... Has it, has it got a TP on? It does not. Oh, send it back. Oh, it needs to stay. Dyer's He's looking for uh, him. In the meantime... I am Topson. Off. He's going to get back to killing people. Pots the BKB. He's going to run down Topson. Farewell. Crit. Also able to snipe. Hey, he's going to snipe both of them. Crit's going to take these kills. Um, it, it, it feels like it's pretty close to being called. It feels rough. <laughs> you know, it's always rough when your carries on the other side of the map, hitting the neutral creeps and not having a TP ready for the base defense. I That's think he when just you know, he, he's, yeah. I think too, like he has his current and he's like, wait a second. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is it coming out now? Uh, no, it's going back to the base now. Back to the base. Get that TP. Get it over there. Oh, just don't go back to the base. It, doesn't look, it doesn't look very it, welcoming anymore. Pad up the stats so you don't look, you know, too rough on the scoreboard. Well, it's been a tough game for Pure to carry. Yep. As some would say, probably impossible for him this game. And it's not been easy. Falcons as a whole just getting a hell of a lot done, and they're ready to go diving. Skeeter is over towards Toby. Toby will be able to get back to the safety of the fountain, but the tier three's gone. The barracks on the bottom lane will be claimed. At least the important one, the melee, it's gone. Dyer's structures are fortified. Pure. Well, we'll now have that TP and the BKB. So it did honestly get quite a bit done up there, and it, he wasn't needed. No, so, you know, he didn't have he a TP because he knew he wouldn't need to come back and do anything. His presence wouldn't have changed anything down on that bottom lane. So it didn't matter at the end of the day. See what type of, I mean, what he's going to be able to even do with this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really help him so much still versus, of course, that's Fen and Razor. They still can just like stick on him even though, even though through it. So at least protects him versus the catch, I guess, of snaking. For now, for another thousand gold. And then Snake has an Aghanims. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, Snake's look, Snake looking for the catch here. Uh, Toby's he stepped Toby. outside of the base. What is his position? Are they actually going to hunt all the way down here? Oh my god, no way. Toby, don't step out. Dyer's don't move. Under He's got TP in a few seconds, so fallen. should be okay. They won't check around that little bit of a gap that you have to look through the trees. He's fine. <laughs> Heartbeat. <laughs> Snay, though. He's just constantly on the prowl. He knows that they're just playing on the top and bottom side. He wants to find one. It's not an Axe Static Storm, so he'll give his life. Good stuff there from Pure. I mean, Pure, he's, he's doing what he's needs trying. to be done. He really is. He's getting as much as he can from the map. He's able to get back to the safety of the base, and he picks up a kill on the way out. He's trying his hardest. He really is, and, he, and he's going to have to continue to do so to try and carry this one. Especially versus the amp damage skitter with a Daedalus and a Nemesis curse, so heroes are going to detonate. Falcons. Bringing in the mid and the bottom wave. Of course, the high ground hold from Tundra isn't bad. They've got the full Octarine on Topson, so he can really spam the spells. Mm -hmm. Almost BKB on Toby if he gets shard as well afterwards, and they've got the pull in as well from it too. Like the problem is these buildings die very quick to the Sven. Yes, the buildings die quickly, and you have three cores on Falcons that will not be scared about diving the high ground. Yes. They're all incredibly beefy, incredibly tanky. Maybe even four cores that won't be. We've got a camera really right off crit, of course. Yeah, he's, Level he's, 19. 13,712. Yeah, I'm mean, a crit on the hook wing because it's always a joy to see. He's my MVP this game. Him and Amar probably split down the middle. Actually, we'll give Snake like 10% too. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Tundra. Very difficult for them to get outside of the base. They get a good shard. At least Pure doesn't have to buy that one. We'll have a way to I mean, yeah, yeah, that's stuff a bit more. If you get in the free shard, you want it going the way of Pure. Yeah. You want Feels everything good. on Pure right now. If you're Tundra. Pure has managed to turn around some pretty tough games in the past. Mm. It feels like pretty much all the pressure is on him. And, and then, like, the rest of the team, is their job is pretty much, like, poking, forcing BKBs it's, if they can get the control yeah. to allow Pure to get his Radiance actual attacks and stuff off. But attack. it's I a mean, tall order. It is, but, it, yeah, just looking at the numbers, it, it it's impressive in its own that you're in He's a game. Tied. 
indeed, where your team is 21k behind, but you still as a carry have the same amount as farm as the carry on the team that's 21k ahead. Yeah. Like he's keeping up, but is it going to be enough to provide them any sort of chance to turn? Snake. And now he's in with a jump on towards nine class. Pure, we're trying to hold him back with the stun. Back up to the high ground. Marion's going to look to chase in. He's got the axe, so he's invulnerable. And he'll kill off nine class. Amar gets the last touch on that. Pure. Gonna turn into the Razor, used the Static Link against Amar, but Pure is getting pretty low. Put the BKB, standing against Crowd, turn the raw skin, and he's suicided. Uh oh. Okay, this is pretty huge here. Can they get anything more? Amar's gonna Amar? get the BKB TP out, he'll make it away. They'll Crit. be able to put a stop to Crit's escape, though. And just like that. Now, Pure, oh, oh, he's, oh, he's oh. got to do it, and he is doing it. Oh, Skeeter, you got to be careful. Oh, White Mon gets him back. <laughs> Oh, skip guards and stuffs and two. Here we go. I mean, that was Here we go. The all chat has been opened. It was definitely spicy because Pure, yep. he gets the, what, 140 damage, I think it was, on the link. He gets the waveform attack through the Sven, who just jumped in too far. I mean, you were saying they do want to dive these towers, but this time, yeah, that, yeah, a little hard. Do that. The smiles come out from <laughs> Tops, and he knows that, you know, when, when the team I has... I love it. You know, they, Falcons, you know, Skeeter opened up the all chat. He's the one who started this game. And then he makes a move like that. It, it's going to feel bad for me. Yeah. Skeeter's going to be feeling a bit hot under the collar. Still, Falcons, they're, yeah. they're comfortable, but honestly, one or two more of those. Yep. Got to be careful. Pure has, Pure has carried games like this before. There still is, of course, you know, there's the GG item. Snaking does have the agonims, so there could sure. just be a situation you where you they jump static stone, boom, game ends, stuff like that. But yeah. that is a big swing. Now, top net worth, of course, for Pure. I believe that, yeah, that is going to be his butterfly pretty much finished up if he wants to commit for it, so. Well, they will probably be looking towards the Roshan before they go for that sort of move again, Falcons. Yeah, I'd imagine so. And maybe just hitting buildings a little more naturally approached with the Sven rather than diving so far. Do I have to... You know, do have to give respect, of course. There is BKB dis piercing disables, right? Oh. Clockwork in the base. If you're diving like that, two-hook shot, that'll be a little cautious. Roche, though, as you said, it's up. Falcons all set up around top. Smoked. I mean, Tundra could look for the fight they, around the pit. I, I, I mean, they have Butterfly and Elven Tunic like versus Pure Sven with no true really strike. Strong. He is really strong If he now. doesn't get caught by the Ag Static Storm, uh -huh. Pure can... He can kind of clean up. If they get there in time. If they're they're going to make it this time. Yeah, Falcons themselves, they don't want to commit for the roast. They do want to try and take the fight head on first. Yeah, I mean, the double evasion, we'll see how they address that versus Pure. As you said, it's a static storm. It's got to be on him. Skeeter's going to pop the god They're going to try and finish up the roast quickly. Far swing around from the right side. They saw where the rocket came from, though. I mean, so this could be a wrap aware. around from Pure. He's getting some good information. I believe sort of caught vision there. Skeeter. Ward's now, place. He's in Thunder Ghost Raps to try and scout things out. Now jump forward straight away, Pure. He's got the link. He's in onto Skeeter and he's completely destroying it. He's dead. dead. Uh oh. Pure. He's absolutely doing it here. Can he be dealt with by Amar? No, the X Mark's going to be there to drag Amar back away from Pure. Pure's ready to get back in with the waveform. Closes the gap on towards Amar. Oh, he's doing Amar's it. Amar's dead. Double kill for Pure, Skeeter. He's coming with the buyback for this. Skeeter. The Storm is there. He's dying. The fourth, but it's a buyback. Ooh, is he gonna die? He's still alive. The he's dead. He's, gonna, he's gonna get him, Pure. Holy moly! It's a dieback on him. It's an ultra kill for Pure. Does he get out? He is stunned up. They, they can. They, they should be able to kill him. Should but he's already to. done the damage, Pure. He doesn't mind going down here. He got an ultra kill, a dieback on Skeeter. I mean, boys and girls, <laughs> this is why you don't start the old chat, kids. You don't oh start God. the old chat. Karma will get you. I mean, what an angle of approach from the fight. They used the rocket from White Mon, which maybe gave a little bit of inkling for Tundra, but you can see Snakes feeling the pressure. He didn't get to get a good static because White Mon just got on top of him. He chased him the whole fight. Pure is able to get, I think, almost a full static yeah, link on Pure. Skeeter. Kills him in seconds. I mean, it, it, you know, sure, they still have that 16k lead on the side of Falcons, but it, it feels like this is Pure's game to win now. Definitely a possibility. He's, he's, he's going to have level 25. He's going to be able to get his next time very likely before the big push comes in when Skeeter's back up. And yeah, that required a, a buyback from the enemy carry and, and for them to sort of catch him and, and kill off the rest of Thunder in the way that Falcons did to be able to have the chance to bring Pure down. 
if the, this sort of fight plays out in even just more slightly optimal way for Tundra and for this morph, this morph's just going to clean up. Yep. I mean, Crit's still getting insane scaling, of course. I think I'm actually looking at him to maybe okay, surpass to the this fight soon, soon at this point for Falcons, because he is honestly absolutely enormous. He lives the whole fight. Hex could be huge versus the morph, too. So. Yeah. But uh, wow. They're what a couple holding. of moments they there are. for Tundra. I mean, yeah, Pure's ready to do the scaling and sort of like the, the hero killing. And then Topson, of course, he's he's ready to keep this game going and just clearing the yeah. waves, holding the high ground. He can keep the game in a constant state, which makes it difficult for Falcons to proceed towards the, the high ground and try and close this down. Yeah, these, honestly, the Thunder God's Rast plus the Rockets just to scout inside the fight. It allows Tundra to kind of pick and choose which targets they want to go for initially. Get rid of that Disruptor with the Clockwork, look for the Sven, get that link up and everything too. And now 25's a bit hit. Honestly, a pretty important one for Morphling, I feel like. Yep. The waveform, just the frequency he's going to be able to do it versus something like Razor, be able to distance himself, get in on top of heroes. But yeah, pure. I mean, how, yeah, hard, how, but he's double, he's double. doing it, but he's now playing versus that one hex and a second hex soon to come out. So. Sure. It's so difficult. Yeah, it, it's indeed. It's going to have to require him to keep at the level of play that he's been bringing. And but, they have uh, to find snaking, right? He still is. There's a lot of priority the targets. Storm, the hexes. Those can be the thing, things that just shut down the dream here for Pure. Mm -hmm. I think Toby now... I, last game, I feel like he got this 15 minutes earlier. He had such a good game. The Ag's Bloodstone. I think he just has the Bloodstone now finished up. So his team fight too. Once these BKBs start ticking down, I believe it's a six-second one for this Sven. It's going to start to have more impact as well. Now the question is if Tundra will want to try something outside of the base. It is into this Aghanim some cheese. Pure spent though. Ages and cheese. I mean, and of course, it's, it's still at a point where what, looking at the buyback status is how many more minutes. It's still going to be about four and a half minutes yeah. until Skeeter's going to have the luxury of a buyback. So st still plenty of time where he could get punished again for that mm. failed buyback attempt in that earlier fight. Pure knows that he hit, can't risk going like saving for a buyback. He's actually just committing the yep. gold. I mean, the Scotty is. Yeah, it's going to be a nice pickup too for him. That's crit. The they, do, they get the catch it. I mean, Pure's going to try and help out, punching into Malarine. Toby's able to put the BKB. Toby will get out of this. And they'll be okay. The threat, though. There it is. They can just... That's the scary thing about these hexes, right? If you don't pop your BKB almost instantly, you can die. They're looking to re-smoke Tundra. It's ages for two minutes. Night 9 class stepping up pretty far here. So be careful, he'll be all right. Seems like forever the Falcons have been eyeing, eyeing up this tier two tower. Still not yet really ready to, to fully commit for the push, despite having this Aegis. It definitely makes things, as I say, a lot more complicated that Skeeter does not have that luxury of buyback. Yeah, he wants his next item too. It yep. feels like he's like, man, I, I die very quickly if I can't turn and fight back. If he has to just play to run, he's going to die. So if he has to tannic, he can God Strength and perhaps hit back for a set more fling. So looks like he wants to figure this out before this fight. Does Crit have his hex? No, oh, no, he's not. He hasn't found much farm yet in the last few moments, but they still have Marines. And uh, Amar also, he is still continuing to be absolutely massive too. Can't nah, forget is. about this. He, he has is. the 25 talent. And he's, you know, he's been behaving himself. He's keeping his cool. Right? We're not true. seeing any old chat from him. He's, yes. yeah. he's ready to sort of quietly carry this game. And I honestly, like he, him and Crit, I'm looking yeah. like they are still so Pure? massive. So if they've got anything, they've got the push right, they've got the Static Storm. Storm. They've caught him and he's gone. No buy. Just like that, Pure is out for 100. He doesn't indeed have the money. If the rest of them can escape, Toby will be able to TP out. But That's indeed, 90, 90 seconds. seconds. That's enough time this for them to go Falcons for the cleanup. This is what Falcons need to maybe close it, or at least do a lot of damage with the push. That's what happens sometimes. Top Ag's 10 is cutting the wave. Okay, they've got the a glyph. Fortification will deal with the glyph, but the, the bottom lane coming wing. in onto the tier 4. Yep, Amar, he's hitting tier 4s. He knows there's no buyback. Uh, it's, it's, this could be very, very painful here for Tundra. They're going to they're gonna lose a lot. The Hex is there onto, onto oh, Top, God. and he's up. He has buyback, but the mid are gone. Falcons, they are going to back off and deal with the tier two. There's still a tier two to be taken on the top lane. Okay, they'll just go for the safer play. Just go for the Megas. So it looks like Tundra will get another chance out of this. Maybe. I mean, he's got to, it looks like it'll be Megas. Falcons have so much time. Go for the Tormentor. Satanic done on Skeeter. Malreen's continuing it. 30 seconds still. No pure. 
see if they can finish off the Mega Creeps Falcons. Yeah, three's gone. They're jumping in beyond the pace. They're looking oh. for the dive, and he's able to get it. One tapped. Marler just gets in, completely destroys Nine Class. A Toby is BKB still caught up for 50 seconds. Amar's on top of them with a the static link. Look at Toby's this damage. Trying to run. Amar staying in on top of him. Can he get back to the fountain in time? He cannot. Toby's gone. Out for 80. Falcons, they'll clean up this top rack. They'll take down Whitemon. Pure, he's going to be back up in a couple of seconds. But three teammates down. It's just Pure and Topson left. And with the full five mana Falcons alive, they can keep this push going. He's dead. The storm. Static Storm's there. Snake, he's got the cat. They've got the kill. As Falcons, they Did will you? get the victory here. And they will be pushing this series to a game three. Which I think we're all super.